So this is the card. I mean, Max just spends and I'm left cleaning up the mess. Well, at first I thought it was kind of funny. Here's my eight-year-old 40-pound Australian Shepherd with my credit card. But I thought, oh, this is so funny because maybe he can get himself little doggy things, like a little sweater or a little treat. But I got out of hand. One day I went to the fridge and it was crammed top to bottom with Kobe beef sliders. I'm talking massaged cow. I don't know how he got online, but he did. And he ordered himself bones, balls, clothes. He bought a fur coat. He already has a fur coat. It was how much? <laughs> no, you do not need a leather jacket. It can be quite frightening for people when they get into too much credit trouble. They try to hide it. Then there's gonna be collection agencies after you. If you don't call us back, you're going to go into repossession. Call us now. I mean, Max used to be so carefree and happy. It really changed him. Credit card debt can have a real serious and profound effect on people's health. Decreased appetite, feelings of hopelessness, defeat, lack of interest in things we previously enjoyed. Once the credit card debt started mounting, he, uh, he became a changed dog. When he went to uh, pay for his heartworm medication, his credit card got declined. Max is doing amazing. He buried the card in the backyard and he's slowly paying it off. He actually started his own dog walking service. Mostly he just walks himself.